So if we want to privatize the Copilot experience, we need actually to install two models. Now let's change to the QA. All right, on the same question I would like to ask. Now you will have a totally private Obsidian Copilot in your computer. Hi friends, this is Tony. In my last two videos, I've demonstrated the incredible potential of combining Obsidian with powerful AI tools. You can ask AI to quickly locate what you need from thousands of your past notes. You can collaborate with AI to build personalized learning maps and knowledge graphs tailored to your interests. But one important question keeps popping up in the comments. Is there a local and a private solution? I completely understand this concern. After all, one of the main reasons I choose Obsidian over Notion is because it offers complete local storage, allowing you to keep your notes 100% private. In this video, I will show you exactly how to install your own private local AI copilot directly into Obsidian. Okay, this video will be split into three parts. The first part is how to set up Obsidian copilot and uh, what are those key features. The second part is to show you how to install your private AI model DeepSeek with Olama. Lastly, you will be able to integrate your private AI with Obsidian Copilot to have a true local and private AI in your Obsidian. Okay, this is a typical Obsidian interface. I have some example nodes on the left. So uh, to install your Obsidian Copilot, you will need to go to the setting and find your community plugin and search for Obsidian Copilot. This is the Copilot plugin you will need to download. It was developed by Logan. OK. All right, after you install, enable your plugin. So on the right hand side, you find that the API key is not ready yet. If you happen to have an OpenAI or Anthropic API key, you can definitely set up here. So this is really simple if you have an OpenAI API key. OK, I've already copied my key. You need to do is to verify it. Everything is verified and set up. Now you can simply use it. On the left hand side, you will find your copilot and open it. And you can start chatting. Say, hi there. I'm Tony. Hello, Tony. OK, the chat mode works. And for the vote QA mode, uh, this is the mode that you will be able to query your own notes and uh, ask your AI to help you find your notes. OK, your copilot already find two cases. And it also showed you the relevant resources, AI implement cases, customer agents, customer experience support. And let's check it out. This is, this case was come from Click Therapeutic. Uh, clinical operation, use Gemini from Google Workspace to, trans com to transform complex operation data into actionable insight. Good one. Uh, Besides ask any questions about your nodes, you could also find that if you click the relevant notes, let me drop it. If you find a note, say like um, case report, okay, the relevant note function showed you the most relevant notes compare with what you write in the draft note is uh, something from is something from the enterprise case report. Uh, if you check closely, you will find that this is the part I copied. This is also a very important function I found useful because when you are writing your report or notes or draft, the Obsidian Copilot behind it will actively help you find the most relevant notes that you may find interesting, even though you did not type any links here. Okay, now we find three key Obsidian Copilot features. The first one is chart mode. You can chart with your AI bar with any topics. The second one is vault QA mode that you can ask your AI to find the relevant notes and ask relevant questions about your notes. The third one is relevant notes. When you are reading and writing a notes, Copilot behind your Obsidian will actively find relevant notes for you. 
So before we jump into uh, how to install your private AI thing, I would like to explain a little bit more about how this is possible. This will definitely help you understand how can we totally privatize your AI for your Obsidian. So behind the Copilot, actually there are two models that is working for you. The first one, of course, is GPT-4.0, the open AI model. The second one, which is also a key one, is the embedding model. What is embedding? Embedding is simple. It uses neural networks to translate your nodes into numbers. Those are vector numbers that your machine will be able to calculate the relevance between your thousands of nodes. So when you were creating your new nodes, the machine behind it will actually use those vector numbers to calculate similarities between your new nodes and your old nodes. If they find it similar, if they find similarity is high, it will pop up. If you ask any questions about your nodes, the machines will calculate and find the most similar and relevant nodes and send it to your AI and answer your question. So embedding is the key. So if we want to privatize your copilot experience, we need actually to install two models to help you totally privatize it. How? Let's come to the second part. Okay, let's come to the second part. Install DeepSeek AI model with Olama. Okay, what is Olama? Olama is a free software that can help you run large language model in your computer, no matter it is Linux, Windows, or Mac OS. You can simply download and install it. Then what is DeepSeek? Currently, DeepSeek R1 is the best open source model you can have on the market right now. You can simply download it from Olama and have it installed to your computer. The only one thing you need to keep in mind is your computer memory. If you have a relatively small RAM computer, for example, 16 gigabyte, you are suggest to install motors like uh, 7B, 8B, and 14B. Okay, once you have your Olama download, what you do is very simple. You copy this sentence here and have it run on your terminal. Uh, you can directly uh, interact with your private model. Say, how are you today? DeepSeek R1 is a syncing model. What you will have is a syncing process and its final response. Back to Olama, you can also find your embedding model on Olama. What I recommend is this one. Currently, BGE M3 is also an open source and free model that even surpassed the performance of OAI, of OpenAI embedding model. So the BGE M3 is here and it is small. So it's relatively only one gig. Um, you copy it and uh, pull your model here. Now we have a chart model ready and the embedding model ready, but there's one more thing you need to do. If you are familiar with large language model, you know that each model has its context window. Um, the context window is the amount of text you can ask the model to help you process. For each model download from Olama, the default context window is limited by Olama to ensure your model's speed. Since we need this model to answer questions about our notes, we'd better to maximize the context window of your local AI. So otherwise, you might find it to be frequently hallucinating from your notes. That's something we don't want to see. What you need to do is to copy this command at the terminal here, set the parameter to 128K. And the parameter is set, then you type save. You can simply say the same name as the old model. All right, new model created. Now you can check the parameters of your new model. Show parameters. All right, your context window is saved as 128K. Last step, link Olama to your Obsidian. What you need to do is to ensure your Olama is running at the back end and paste the command and run it. What does this mean? This means to link your Olama address with Obsidian application. The application will be able to use Olama model directly. Now, quit your Olama.
and type olama serve. Your obsidian address is prepared here. Right, let's quit the terminal. Now we open olama again, and everything is ready to use. OK, now we have everything ready. Let's integrate your private AI model with Obsidian Copilot. I've already removed OpenAI. There's no murder in my Obsidian Copilot. What you need to do is to in your motor setting to add your motor here, add custom mode. Uh, if you don't remember the exact motor name, you should look in your uh, terminal because the name should be exactly the same as the Olama motor. Then pick your provider, Olama. Then verify it. Cool, everything is ready. Verification successful. Since um, the motor is a reasoning motor, you can pick it here. It doesn't matter. All right, uh, remember that we also need an embedding motor. You should add your embedding motor below here. Uh, don't add here. This is chart mode. Add your embedding motor here. Add your custom embedding motor. Remember, uh, you will need to copy the exact the same name of the motor in Olama. Pick Olama and verify it. Great job. Let's add the motor. Once you have your local motor created, you will select it here. DeepSeq R1, and uh, yes, Olama embedding model. Everything is ready. Now let's try it out. OK. Hi there. Um, how are you? Oh, cool. The thinking motor will think a lot, even the simplest question. But the speed is good. Have any question about Subsidian? Great job. Now we can check the vote QA as well. Oh, before, oh, before we use the vote mode, uh, there's one thing I need to remind you. Um, if we set a new embedding motor, it will ask you to reboot the index. What you need to do is to click Continue. Now let's change to the QA. All right, um, the same question I would like to ask. Great. Seems like the motor has already found it. What was? Let's search it to see if the motor is right or not. Yes, we have Wars. Uh, Wars use Gemini to enhance employment confidence in their communication for customer support, effective customer interaction. Good job. Now, the last function. You will find a relevant note here. Now you will have a totally private Obsidian Copilot in your computer, and no one can look into your data. If you like my content, please hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Now let's wrap it up. So compare with the last two videos, um, there are two things that currently uh, local Copilot can't do, which is agentic file management and deep research. The strategy I suggest is that you can have a totally private vote with private AI and ask questions about your own uh, writings and notes. Um, for information from the website, you are welcome to use those AI providers from OpenAI, Google, and the search online. Um, since this is information from public, you don't really need to worry about your privacy. For information private, you can have a private AI to process with it. OK, that's it for today. If you have any ideas you would like me to try, please leave your comments below. And thank you very much, and happy hacking. Bye-bye.